Yo, what's up everybody? Right now we're about to watch the video vlog about Changsha city that I visited in spring. And without further ado, let's get started. So Changsha is the capital of Hunan province in central China. And this city is famous for its more than 2000 years of history. Our first stop was the Juzhe Island, because there you can see the Mao Zedong statue on Juzhe Island. And this narrow island is in the middle of Changsha, and it's probably the second most popular attraction for tourists after Yuelu Mountain. And it's famous for its big statue of Mao Zedong's head. There are gardens and thousands of fruit trees and great firework displays in the evening. And this Juzhe Island is named after its hundreds of orange trees because Juzhe means orange in Chinese. And the next is for a famous milk tea brand from Changsha City, it's Sexy Tea. And Sexy Tea went so famous after the hot topics of Weibo application and 30,000 people were supposedly queuing for the tea shop all over the city. And let's talk about the food of Changsha, such as Stinky Tofu and Sister's Rice Bowl and Huo Gong Dian or Fireplace. There are many types of delicious and local food will simply amaze you with totally different flavor and smells. Well, I personally did not try the stinky tofu, which some stories say it was one of Mao Zedong's favorite food. And that's why so many people come to this city and try the real stinky tofu. Now you can see that I'm eating crayfish with strong spicy flavor. Well, for those who hasn't been to China, you can actually order the food according to your ability of eating spicy. You have the options of light spicy, average spicy, and the strong spicy flavor. And the next stop is the Wuyi Street. It's one of the famous streets of the city, where you can find the buildings are in an old shape, which is so fantastic and people usually come here to have some snacks, or even shopping, or make some street activities such as singing, or group dance, and so on. And in the middle of the street, you will definitely see the beautiful pink zebra crossing. People usually come here to take pictures in the middle of the road, which sounds dangerous, but don't forget that Chinese people are really good at taking pictures, so it will not take a lot of time to show that your pictures. This street is in the middle of the city. That's why no matter what time it is, you can find a lot of people gathering here for taking pictures or taking some videos or even doing some live stream for some applications and for shopping because there are so many well-known brands and famous restaurants in this street. And the next stop is the Big Two Toys on IFS building in the middle of Changsha city, which attracts millions of tourists all over the year to the city. These two big toys from Cause took 301 days to complete. Kaos is a trendy brand from USA, and its famous product is the Kaos dolls, which you can see right here, and the price of each doll is tens of thousands of yuan. And the next stop was the Museum of Changsha's Traditional Foods, where we found so many artworks and the famous food types. And all the artworks and the famous foods seem so real until you go and touch them. And I found the biggest garlic there, which was hung up in the ceiling. The museum was mainly about the old lifestyle of the city, such as farm and so on. And we found some farm animals and pets, such as hen and the pig. And it was so amazing. And as we told before, Changsha is very famous for its different flavors and foods. So this part of the video makes a lot of sense. And while watching the different types of the artworks, we found one little kitten hiding in something which seemed like a small boat. While wandering around the city, we found one shopping plaza, and it was special for its one place. So when you go inside there, there's a small old city model. And when you go inside the city model, you will feel you are in the old times of the city. There are so many restaurants and shopping malls, which is so small, but you feel it's so real. And there are so many people eating in the restaurants, and it looks so much real and amazing. And afterwards, we went to a museum, which contains amazing artworks about the old times of China and the Changsha city and also including some modern art works, like about family and mother love and so on. And outside the museum, there is a beautiful garden where you can see some small lakes around and wonderful buildings where people usually come and take pictures. And that was everything that I wanted to share with you guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe and write some comments about your opinions about my vlog. And thank you so much. See you in the next vlogs. Bye.